live or not? It's hard to tell with this thing. Oh, there we go. I'm live. Okay. Um, hello and, and welcome to my 51st show. Unbelievably. Right. Um, I hope you've had a good Christmas and are looking forward to a happy new year. But what I do know is a lot of people wouldn't have had a good Christmas. You see, this time of year especially, a lot of people are struggling. A lot of people are stressed. Um, they suffer from anxiety, low confidence, worry. And especially this time of year with everything going on COVID-wise, you know, it's just going to add to that stress that a lot of people are currently going through. So that's a normal situation anyway to feel that way. But this time of year, this year especially, it's more so. So as we approach the new year, a lot of us are going to be thinking in terms of where do we go from here? How do I deal with the frustration, the stress, the worry, all the things that I'm currently going through, which are holding me back in life and not really helping me? And you just feel stuck. You don't feel like you're moving forward. And often we make these plans in, as we go into a new year to make changes, to do things differently that work for us because we don't want to live the life that we've been living. We don't want to exist. We want to actually start living our lives. But then what generally happens or invariably happens with a lot of people is we get to the new year and then nothing happens. We stand still. And we desperately want a way out of all of that, but we don't seem to be able to find a way out through our thinking because we get stuck in a way of thinking that doesn't help us move forward. And because of that, we stay still and we don't ever change. We still keep going around in circles and not really moving forward. And the other day, I had a guy um, who was interested in, in working with me, but he was very cynical. And the reason he was cynical is because he didn't, um, he didn't believe that it's possible to change your way of thinking and the way you live your life, basically, in just three or four months. And my foundation's program says that, basically. It says you can change your way of living and thinking in just three or four months. And he found it very cynical. He was very cynical and doubted that. And the truth of the matter is, he's right. He is 100% right. Because with that way of thinking, he won't change his life. He won't move forward. He's going to keep standing still. Because if you've got a mindset which is low of energy, which is... Um, uh, always focusing on what you can't do, always focusing on a problem, always cynical, always focusing on doubts, um, avoiding any commitment, you know, finding reasons why you can't do things. If you've got that sort of mindset, then of course, you're going to be full of frustration, full of fr stress, worry, concern, all the things that hold us back in life. But the truth of the matter is, you can change your way of thinking. You can change your way of being. And you can move forward with your life in three or four months. It's not going to, you can't click your fingers and suddenly everything in your life changes overnight. Of course not. But what you can do is learn and start practicing a philosophy and way of being that will work for you in the long term. And the more you practice it, the more you uh, become better at it. And eventually you become it. And that is what I help you learn. So essentially, a lot of people will know that I'm a coach. And a lot of people will not understand what that actually means in, in real terms. You know, they might have an idea. A lot of people assume it's therapy, for instance. You know, that I only help people with problems um, and stuff like that, which is not the truth. I don't work with people with problems. That's what therapy is. I work with people who want to move forward with their lives. And my official actual term, which is what I'm actually qualified as, is a, uh, is a bit of a tongue twister. It's Core Transitions Dynamics um, dynamics Specialist. See, I told you it was a tongue twister. And that what that means, the reason I don't say it all the time is because people don't know what it means. I mean, so it's essentially people who are a Core Transitions Dynamics Specialist are highly trained professionals and leaders in the field of transition and performance. So that means that we help you, the client, step by step, every step of the way to learn more about yourself and more about how you perform at your best. That's what we're trying to do. We're experts in a system that we use to help you do that. So we help you learn the system and practice it step by step. And the core transitions dynamic specialist is unlike any other professional that you'll ever come across because our only agenda is to help you get you where you want to be in life. That's the only agenda. We don't judge you. We don't judge your results. 
We con consequently, the relationship is one where it's safe to be yourself, safe to be as open and honest as you possibly can be, and not worry about anything like judgment. So it's in fact, it's absolutely imperative to be so. You know, if you're if you're coming into this relationship and you're not being honest, then you're not going to move forward. Simple as that. If you're doubting the, um, yourself and uh, doubting the process and you're holding back and you're not committing to it and therefore not practicing what you're learning, again, you're not going to move forward. Like that guy said, he doubts that he could move forward in that time. You won't if you're not committed to doing something. Definitely not. But if you are, then you will. So th there's there's key elements to this which you, which we pretty much ask all clients to stick to uh, when we take on and sign a new client up and what well, the first one is that you make and keep all of your appointments so you can't just like dip in and dip out because if you do you're not going to learn you're not going to move forward um, and you've got to be honest you've got to be 100 percent honest and open with your answers and don't be afraid to actually ask questions um, because that's the whole point of being, having a coach. You're there to learn, you're there to move forward and learn new things and new philosophies and way of being that's going to actually move you forward in life. And you treat your work with, um, I'll say a coach because it's easier to say, a, a coach, transition specialist, um, as a key p um, p p point of your de self development. Because that's what we're here to do fundamentally is help you move forward and actually start living the life that you really want. And I'll explain to you how I work and what I actually do and how I can actually help you moving into the new year, find the new you that you really want and overcome the things like stress, frustration, worry and the things that are stopping you moving forward and being the person that you really want to be in 2022. And if you're interested in learning this new philosophy, new way of being, then all you've got to do is dip your toe in the water and find out more about it and then you will start moving forward. And if you're committed to do that and you're really genuinely interested in changing your life for the better, then it's a no-brainer. So with the help of a trained core um, transitions dynamics therapist, I can't keep saying that, um, the program um, that I teach, the Foundations Program, which you can read up about on my website. It's in my services section if you're interested in reading up more about that and how it specifically works. You learn to create high levels of energy in the moment and in the long term so that you're always able to perform at your best it doesn't matter what the scenario or the circumstances you're facing are you're always performing at your best and that means that you're you've got the key to your own success in life you know it doesn't matter how uh, hard life can be like we're going through difficult times now you're still able to perform optimally at your best what it does, it helps you identify spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, social and environmental factors that influence your energy um, in any given moment, any given time and, and how they affect your performance overall and how you show up generally um, in all aspects of your life. And what you do then is when, when, when you have, um, we all have inner, inner and outer elements um, that can help us or hinder us. Uh, in how we show up in life and how we progress in life and these are your, what's called your core influences and they're the things I've just mentioned those six core influences and by understanding these and knowing how to handle them and influence them and, um, and um, build upon them so if your energy is low in one particular area we can work on how we can increase the energy in any of those areas enabling you to perform at your best then you'll have a huge advantage in creating the kind of results that you are seeking across the board that means less less stress less frustration higher confidence um, no anxiety um, better relationships more money in your pocket because you're performing at your best generally across the board you're being you're living a life that's much more productive and constructive overall so you're not stuck in the doldrums finding reasons why you can't move forward in life and blaming the world for the, for not being able to do so you're getting off your ass and you're doing something with your life and you're moving forward as a as a result. <clears throat> so working with a, uh, a professional coach, specialist, whatever you want to call me, um, as long as it's not a rude word, you'll develop action plans and interventions um, and strategies to create your ideal energetic state so that you're always, again, performing at an optimal level. And additionally, you'll become aware of how to think, feel, act, and so that you can break free of limiting thoughts, fears, um, 
undesired uh, emotions and reactions that you might be feeling, like stress, like anxiety, like worry, all of those things, frustration, all the things that we get stuck with, that we don't know how to get rid of, that helps you get rid of them. So you'll develop a life philosophy. That's why I call it a philosophy, because that's exactly what it is. And a way of being that's based on 10 core disciplines. And again, these 10 core disciplines are something I'll teach you as you go along through, um, through the process. And these lead to high energy and potential and performance. So the disciplines are a foundation for success. They're a foundation for living and performing and creating a powerful state of awareness and a positive attitude in every circumstance and situation that you experience in life. It doesn't mean that you're never going to have a bad day. It doesn't mean that you're never going to get stuck in a, in, in a mindset which um, doesn't help you. But what it does mean is you can get out of that quickly. And it means that when you do have a stress reaction to whatever happens in your, uh, your life, instead of just being stuck there at the bottom of the heap, you're able to get up and get moving and move forward again quickly. You know, it, it's, it's a fundamentally important thing to do if you really want to be creating the life that you want in life. And uh, like I said, I'm available for one-to-one -one coaching. My website's now up, so you can check out all the services that I do. I can do one-to-one -one coaching, like by the hour if that's what you want. But it's like sticking a sticky plaster on a broken leg. If you want to really move forward in life and really create the things that you want in life, the foundation program is for you. So I'm going to leave it there for tonight. I hope that you have a wonderful new year. But if you don't, and if you're looking to move forward in the new year, then check my website out and get in touch with me and we'll see what we can do. Have a wonderful night and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.